Sasha standing by and wondering about whether this warm trend will continue. At least for another couple of days, temperatures are going to be in that category of the upper 50s. Yes, yeah, certainly feeling like a, a different time of year, not the end of November and certainly not the beginning of December. Right now, the Dow's 62 degrees, so this would be one of those times where you want to get outside and take advantage of just how easy it is to be outside for several hours at a time without having to worry about getting cold. Now, how long will this last? I'll have the answer for you in just a minute, but 58 degrees right now for you out towards Lincoln City. You can see it looks rather foggy out there. Visibility not doing so great. Let's talk about your visibility because right now visibility is an issue as we're under this ridge of high pressure. That also means a nice recipe for some stagnant air where there's not a lot moving things around for us. We have high pressure above as a result, not a lot moving below. So as you can see right around Florence, all the way up through Newport, we're looking at about two to five miles of visibility doing okay so far up and down I-5, but that could change. As soon as we get to tonight, an air stagnation advisory is in effect now lasting through midnight. Not, it's not for everybody. It's mostly for the south end of the Willamette Valley. So as soon as you make your way down towards Albany, that's where it begins and it goes all the way down towards Harrisburg. So keep that in mind. If you are in any of those counties, you might be talking about or dealing with uh, some burn restrictions as a result. So just, just keep your eyes out for that. Uh, that air stagnation advisory will be in effect through Thursday midday. So that means that is a nice indication also that we will we'll be under this area of high pressure for several days in a row. Look at all this wet weather. This is heading straight into guess who's been dealing with it for the last three to four days. British Columbia up through Northwest Washington. They've already dealt with several inches of rain now getting close to about a foot of rain and we're going to add on more inches for the next couple of days as we're under this bubble of high pressure, they will continue to be on that streaming end of moisture. So let's talk about forecast rainfall totals. Now tomorrow there's a slight chance we'll get a quick sprinkle in the mix, but it likely won't be enough to measure because it will be so quick. So look at that tomorrow goes by nothing to actually click as we get to Saturday and Sunday. Another chance to see some rain this weekend. At that point in time, we might be able to measure something but you'll notice for the valley, it doesn't look like a whole lot, maybe a little bit more than a tenth of an inch at best for Portland and Salem up through Longview, perhaps closer to about a half inch out towards Astoria and Tillamook. We might be able to get something closer to an inch, but look again at Washington, Western Washington up towards uh, Forks. We might be seeing five inches of rain there this week like they need even a uh, they don't need any more. They don't need a single drop of rain. Meanwhile, Eastern Washington, Eastern Oregon, you're not going to see anything. OK, let's talk about timing for all of this chance to see that quick sprinkle I was talking about for tomorrow. That'll be right before your lunch hour, right about 11, 1130 and then it's gone. Rest of the day is mostly cloudy Wednesday. You might even get a little bit of sunshine in the mix. And won't that be nice to actually have a day where it's not just dry, but it's also sunny. How will those temperatures feel tomorrow? 57 Wednesday, 58. Take a look at the rest of the week. We're still in the low 50s up until the point we hop into this weekend, and then we're into the upper 40s, which is closer to what's considered normal for this time of year. Yes, mm -hmm. we're almost in December. It's a very strange. It's, it yes. is very strange, Natasha. Yeah, <laughs> people can see your footwear right now. You're dressed for the spring. That's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you.